Hey guys, hey everyone out there, how are you all doing? It's your girl Twin D and welcome to the camp. Thank you so much for being here guys. I love you all and thank you for your support. Anyways guys, let's jump into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right. Today, let me big up Angela Moreno and Paper Games. Thank you guys so much for your support. Angela Moreno and Paper Games. Thank you all for supporting this camp. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you all for always being here. Anyways, guys, let's see. 911 emergency message. And guys, don't forget to watch 30 seconds of the ads that are popping up. This is how you support your girl. These ads, they play. YouTube gets paid. And YouTube send me some of that dividend. All right, guys, that keeps me going. This is my only job, you know. So thank you all for those who are watching those ads and supporting me. I love you all. Mwah. <laughs> all right, Father God, what is this 911 message about here? What should we know, please, Father God? What should we know, please? The Five of Swords. There is something returning. Something that you have been fighting for, struggling for, there's going to be victory. Someone is victorious. It, I'm also getting that this person that is returning here, this person has been through a fight as well. This person has been through a fight, fighting other situations. But now this person is victorious. This person is seeing some truth, some clarity. This person is contented, balanced, and they're making a change. What else is going on with this 911, please, Father God? What should we know, please? Yeah, this person is returning here. This person, is, this person has been working on their dark side, the negative side of them, the things that needed to change, the things that they didn't like in their life. Balancing their energy. Balancing the dark with the light. You can't get rid of them. You can't get rid of the, the negative. You can't get rid of the positive. But you can balance them. Control the negative and the positive. So this person has control over their lives. Wow, the nights. They're rushing in. This person is protected. Whoever this is that's coming in. It's like they've finally won. I'm hearing they have favor with God here. They have won their battle. It's like this person having on the whole armor of God here. Protected, loved, cherished, cared for. Like it doesn't matter where this person go. Nothing can stop them again. Nothing can harm them. Because they're protected. They are protected. So there's going to be some joyful celebrations here, guys. I love these 911s. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's going to be a joyful celebration here. Someone has really discovered who they truly are. This is someone who is now finding peace within themselves. Seeing peace within themselves because before they had so much struggles and fights and arguments and confusion and being held down and all the negative things you can think of in their lives insecurities negative people but now there's going to be a joining of two families a joining of two families two people who will be friends to each other Two people who will care for each other. This union, 515, this change is bringing about a new start for someone. 
someone has truly found out who they truly are what their life purpose is they've overcome the negative guys like I was saying the insecurities all this negativity that was happening around them they are finally free they're no longer trapped in those situations ooh, ooh. And they're bringing forth this love. This love is flowing from within them. From inside. From their heart. They are brand new. And with this Ace of Cups. Them loving themselves. This is what's going to cause them to love you. Because they now understand what true love is. The truth. They are figuring out the truth. Finding out the truth. They are connecting with God here. They have been enlightened. This person is making a 180 degrees. Yeah, I said it right now. I said it right. Mm -hmm. A 180 degrees. Turning around from where they were. Heading on a brand new path. This person is so connected with God here right now. It's like if this person should move their right foot. They're asking God, should I move my right foot? This person is now trusting in God to lead them on the path that they need to go. There's a massive change within this person. Divine Feminine, when your person comes back around, you're not going to believe it's them. They're even going to probably be more spiritual than you are. They're going to be like, come, come, we need to pray. <laughs> come, 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 we, we need to thank God for everything we have. And they never used to do that. Because they weren't that in tune with their spiritual self. But there has been a massive change. Tell me about this Five of Swords here. What is this Five of Swords in regards to this 911 message here? What is this Five of Swords? This person turning away, returning. What's going on here? Yeah, I told you they're feeling victorious. They have won their battles, their fights, conflicts, arguments. They are now balanced, everyone. Your person is balanced. <laughs> There's going to be a celebration. Someone needs to prepare to welcome their person because, and I don't mean like to put things together because you know they're coming. But prepare yourself. Working on yourself. Because like I said, when this person comes back around, you're not going to believe. This person is going to be so spiritual. Everything is God. Everything is, is we got to make sure God agrees. We got to make sure that it's done the way God would want. You got to pray. Like, come, in the mornings, let's pray to give God thanks for waking us up. In the night, let's pray before we go to bed. My God. Yeah, my God is awesome. And the Wheel of Fortune. This return is destined. It's destined. It's something coming back around. But it's like this person had to, had to be away from you to learn what it is that they needed what they needed to learn things that they were facing that they were going through they needed to face that alone so that when they got their answers they could see the clarity without any disturbance there's a brand new opportunity being presented to someone there's gonna be a wedding no my <laughs> Ah, the Knight of Pentacles that we're coming from. See, things weren't moving. Because they weren't fully completed over there. Completing what they needed to. Things they needed to clear. They had to work on their karma. It was destined. It was destined. Things they were holding on to that they needed to release. They had to work through those things, whatever they are, or were. That's why there was no movement, none at all, no groundedness, nothing. This person was just like aloof and just like all over the place and don't even know themselves. 
But now this person is more grounded than you can ever think. Tell me about this four of wands. Didn't I tell you that this wedding is coming in? Sorry. You have a commitment, clarifying a commitment. This person who will be committing to you had refused you in the past. Had refused your love in the past because like I said, this person was just all over the place. This person may have had more than one people, more than one choices. This person may have had those insecurities that they had to fight through. But this person, their heart is open now. They have worked on themselves. They've, it's like they've been through everything. Everything. That's what you call going through the ringer. Everything. But they're coming out victorious. This person has truly found themselves. And they see where their happiness is. Ding, ding. And it's 11-01. Woohoo. Tell me about this nine of cups. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. 11-11. Your person was so hurt in the past. They couldn't offer you anything. They couldn't offer you true love. They couldn't even offer you a biscuit. Because they thought that when you take that biscuit, you'll throw it back in their face. <laughs> That's where this person is coming from. But now everything is clear. All these swords up here that your person had conquered. It's all these swords that they have taken out of their heart. They are brand new. They have been renewed. Their passion has been restored. They are being blessed. This is a new person transformed coming into you. This person is so connected to God. I can, I can just feel it. I can feel it. This person's heart has been healed. And that's what this journey is all about. Oh, baby. Yes, go right there. They're the emperor now. They're the emperor now. Pages. They couldn't offer you one, two, three. What they really wanted to in the past because they had insecurity issues. They had no passion, no drive. Some of them, they think that what they had to offer was, wasn't enough. Well, it wasn't, no. So guess what? They were blocking you out. They were pushing you away. But now this person is the emperor. So someone should explain. The twin D. Someone should know. Not expect. Someone should know. That their person has been transformed. And this union is definitely going to happen. This union is happening very, very fast. You cannot have a commitment clarifying a commitment and nothing happens. This is happening very soon here. Somebody is about to be happy. Totally happy. Let's get some messages here from the big man upstairs. This is my work on me, Twin Flame Oracle deck, guys. You can get it on my website. Or you can follow the link in the description box below to purchase for me clean cards. I now know my self worth. What, what, listen, what, what am I? What was I saying? What was I saying? They now know who they truly are. They now know the power of their being. They now know how special they are. They are a servant of God. And that's exactly how they're going to act now. So these masculines are looking at their past and seeing how far they have come. And Divine Feminines do the same. Cry to release, not to stay down. Divine Feminine, get up out of that negative energy, 525. And those of us who have this anger issue, we need to get rid of that as well. So we can set our person free.
put that ego aside. There are a lot of us who are stuck in our ego. Sometimes we say things because we are angry, because we don't like what happened, or because we don't think that these masculines are moving fast enough. But we need to put that ego aside and realize that things that happen, it's destined to happen. Can you fight destiny? Can you fight destiny? No, you cannot. So you just got to work with what you're given. Work with what you're given and stop bashing your divine masculines. When you bash your masculines, you're bashing yourself and you still cannot realize that. That's why some of you guys, you got to really figure out if you're dealing with a twin flame. Because you bash your person day to night and you do it day on day on day on day. No remorse for bashing this person or talking bad about them. But that's because some of us, we are not dealing with twin flames. We are dealing with soulmates. But we refuse to be truthful to ourselves. We refuse. So we label our person as twin flame and divine mass because that's what we want. That's what we want. So we hide the truth. Or we refuse to seek the truth because what I want is for this person to be my masculine, to be my twin flame. So I refuse to see that they are my soulmate. But when you open your eyes, and even the message from the guys this morning was talking about opening up your third eye. Majority of the cards that I got in that message was telling us to open up our third eyes so we can see clearly. When you open up your third eye and you can see clearly, guys, when you start to look with truth and love and you release that, you're, that which you're holding on to, that's not yours. Guess what? The right one will come in because you're no longer holding on to something that's not yours, someone that's not yours. So we are our own blocks at times, Divine Feminines. We block ourselves from our happiness because we are so focused on this soulmate that is in and out of our lives and you base the twin flame connection only on this person going in and out of your life and you're crying because you miss them. That's not what defines a twin flame connection. That doesn't dis define a twin flame connection. That's only one aspect of it. The book is there. I keep saying it. The book is there. If you're unsure, if you don't know. And stop lying to yourselves, guys. If you don't know, you don't know. But you need to find out. But that's the thing. We don't want to find out because we don't want to realize that us holding on to someone that we say is our twin flame is not. We don't want that. So you would rather... Come on this channel or any other channel and bash your person, leaving negative comments for the whole world to see about your person. That's not nice. To have faith is to trust. To trust is to believe and to believe is to achieve. When you believe in God, you will achieve all that he sets out for you. Love yourself. How can you love others if you can't love yourself? You have to love yourself, guys. You got to show yourself some love by accepting the truth. Figuring out the truth. Now this set here, whoever they are, congratulations on your union. This is about love. You need to show it. You can't love someone and every day you're angry at them. You cannot love someone and... Say you're showing them love through anger. I love you, but I hate you because you did this and you did that. And you keep reminding yourself and you're reminding and telling the whole world what the person did. And you say it every day. So it's not like you get into a negative energy one day and... You, you, you talk about it. That's why I say on this channel, you're only allowed one time for you to come and, 
and cry and talk about all the things that are happening to you. Because once you're here, I'm going to make you realize the truth about this journey. And once you start to see the truth, you should be looking into yourself and changing your thoughts so you can make things better for yourself. Put that ego aside, Divine Feminines. There are a lot of us out there. I see you guys in the comments. I'm not able to respond to all. But I see you guys. Anyways, everyone, or as, I, as I'm speaking about the comments, please remember that I will not leave you any text message, number, WhatsApp, or whatever kind of number to contact me or anyone you see doing that, report them. You have to click on their picture, their display picture, and it will take you to, your, to their YouTube site. And then you click that three dot on the top of the right hand corner of their page and it will show you to report channel and then you have to report there's gonna be a list of what you're reporting about all right guys so if you see someone impersonating me click that display picture it will take you to their YouTube channel and you will see if it's my channel or not because this person will not have any videos as twin D's. Right? Or the amount of videos they have is nothing compared to mine. Because I have over a thousand videos here. And my channel wasn't started this year or last year. Protect yourselves out there, guys. I love you all. To purchase a book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site. And to purchase your protection bracelets from all that negative energy, man. Your chakra bracelets to align those energies. Your money magnet bracelets, because of course you're living in the 3D. You need money to pay your bills. You need money to send your children to school, to pay their school fees. Go to twindyholisticboutique.square.site. Let go and let God, everyone, and I'll talk to you later.